Robinson, and then they're going to trot out Tim Tebow? You also brought up... What about the concept of rhythm, you know, Ryan? I do believe in rhythm, but when you've got a quarterback that is used to coming out anyway for a wide receiver in Brad Smith, he shouldn't have a problem coming out for another quarterback Ooh, to I'm do out. something different. Brad Smith didn't do anything well, last year. Let me he ran clear the this up. last year, but the year before. <laughs> I'm on record about this. The New York Jets are the perfect place for Tim Tebow. The perfect fit for Tim Tebow is Rex Ryan. This is a match, maybe literally, made in heaven. I'm on record as saying that by midseason, Tim Tebow will be the starting quarterback by no later than midseason for the New York Jets. Let me ask you something, Doug Stewart. Yes. What does Rex Ryan prefer to do? What's his M.O.? He wants to ground and pound. Ground and pound. Yep. Right. What did Tim Tebow do when he stepped in in game six for the Denver Broncos last year? From that point forward, he made the Broncos the number one rush offense in the Tebow. National Football League. Jets. You don't think Rex Ryan was attracted to that? Like, this is what I want to do? Because Rex wants to ground and pound, play top five in the league defense, and complete a few timely, crucial touchdown passes, which is exactly the way Tim Tebow likes to play football. He will embrace it. This is his kind of football player. He is a gamer. He is a baller. Rex is going to love that. And trust me on this. Tim Tebow chose the Jets over his hometown Jacksonville Jaguars because, number one, he knows he can beat out Mark Sanchez because of everything you just said, how fragile he is mentally. Trust me on this. He thinks and, he'll, he'll and, move right in and beat him out. Keep in mind one thing here. Sperano and Rex Ryan both fell to the hands of Tim Tebow so on the opposite sideline. They know what they're doing. Yeah. They want his dimension, a part of what they can right. do. Instead of being beat by the guy, and, and he beat I, them both. Why did, why did Tim Tebow not go to Jacksonville? Because he knew the football staff, the coaches and the executives, did not He's want not Tim Tebow. Guy. Okay. They, He's not they a knew lucky guy. But, okay. but Rex Ryan called Tim Tebow before the trade was made, before the choice was made. And trust me, in that conversation, Rex Ryan made it really clear to Tim Tebow, you will get the opportunity at some point this year to win this job. They're, they're giving you the euphemism of wildcat backup. Don't buy one second so, of it. So, so uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to you know, get back to reality here because both you guys are insane. I'm, 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 I promise you that. How is it going to work when you have a quarterback that's a little bit above average being backed up by a below average quarterback that passed for 45 46% last year coming into a media circus like New York in a locker room that's in disarray. How can that be good? Got, How can that be good for anybody to do that? You've got two quarterbacks that have won at this level. Both of them are winners. And secondly, you lean on the contract. They gave them that money. NFL contracts are a facade. It means nothing. There's a lot of phony all. money in that I'm, one. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to okay. figure out how you guys think this is a good thing. Okay, from the, the start, from game one, you're going to see them split time, basically, which I don't love. Which is horrible. I'm all about you have two quarterbacks, you have no quarterbacks. But in this case, I won't even be surprised if by game two and three, you'll see Sanchez get the first and the third quarters and Tebow get the second and the fourth quarter. I think that's you, a lot. You, I know. Early. Okay. Okay. And you'll also see by maybe game four and five, Rex will just go with whoever has the hot hand that day. Don't love it, but it's heading toward Tebow taking over the Jets and then in turn, taking over the locker room that is in disarray. And it won't be with this guy as the leader in the locker room. The only, the only team, this is the worst, the worst combination that I can think of. If you went to a team with an established quarterback like a Brett Favre or an Aaron Rodgers, they were talking about him going to Green Bay, I could get that because there would be no question. Now, the soft-minded Mark Sanchez, when he struggles, the New York Jets fans, just like they did in Denver, are going to call for Tim Tebow. And Tim me. Tebow can't play. Well, look. He can't play for the millionth time. Wait, wait, wait. He can't I, I play. I ask one last question. He went 8-5 and five right. last year, and he yeah, can't Yeah, so play. what? Yeah, that, so that, what? Ignore that. Brad Johnson won a Super Bowl. Were you saying the same thing that, then? That's no. A, that's you weren't. In, that's an insane yeah, statement. Yeah, whatever. But one thing about Mark Sanchez... He knows he's on watch. They tried to get Peyton Manning. They talked about Peyton during the course of last year.